Whoa. Whoops. Three seven. Cost and common value problems. Wee. Objective. To solve problems involving cost, income, and value. Cost, income, and value? What are you talking about? Hey, did you see the math alien? Me, me, more, me, 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 me. All right. Cost. Simply the number of items times price per item. Income. Hours work times wage per hour. Total value, number of items times value per item. Do a couple problems and see if we can figure this out. Ready? Here we go. Using these costs, income, and value. All right. Problem one. I have twice as many nickels as I have quarters. If I have $4.20, how many nickels do I have? What? Oh, man. This is crazy. And nickels, right? Let's see. Nickels. And I have quarters. So, the number of nickels I have, um, let's look at the number, um, twice as many nickels as I have quarters. So, I could have 2x nickels and x quarters because that would be twice as many, right? And altogether, I have 420. So, my total value is 420, right? And how do you find the value? You have the number of coins times, like, suppose I had 10 nickels. I take 10 nickels and multiply by 5 cents, right? And I like to deal with pennies with number problems, so let's just pretend we have 420 cents so we can deal with all cents, so then I can easily go, if I had 10 nickels, I'd say 10 times 5, I have 50 cents. So let's deal with that, right? So my value of each one would be, the nickels would be 2x, the number of nickels, times 5, right? And the number of quarters times 25. This would be my value of them. And their value together is four dollars four hundred and twenty cents, right? So let's write the equation out. Two x times five plus x times twenty five, which would be ten x plus twenty five x. So whoops, equals four twenty. Equals four twenty. So ten x and twenty five x is thirty five x. It's four twenty. And finally divide by thirty five. And, which, well, I'm going to figure this out right now. How many 35s go into 420? Well, we know that 1 goes in at least, right? When I subtract 35, I get 70. How many 35? 2. So I get 12. What's 12? X is 12, right? The question is asking me how many nickels I have. I don't have 12. Nickels, I have 2X. 2 times 12, so I must have 24 nickels. 24 nickels would be how much money? buck 20, right? And then if I have 24 nickels, I have half that 12 quarters, and 12 quarters you know is, this is four per each one, right? That's three bucks. It worked out. Double check with my numbers. There we go. There we go. Let's try another one of these money problems, right? Is it possible to have 46 coins, all nickels and pennies, that have a total value of $1? Well, let's see. We're talking about value again. And here we have um, all nickels and pennies. Okay, and 46 coins all together. So I know that my nickels plus pennies, my nickels plus pennies has to equal 46, right? Does that make sense? All right, I have a total value of $1. How am I going to solve this problem? Well, I know that nickels are 5 cents each, right? And pennies are um, 1 cent each. And we're going to change this to 100 pennies because I, let's make this 100 cents, right? The problem is here, um, I need to use just one variable here. So if I know that the nickels plus the pennies equal 46, I could call nickels n, and I'll call pennies. Can I solve for p if I subtract n from both sides here? I get pennies will be 46 minus n. Great. So I have a total number. One of them is going to be n, and one of them is whatever's left over when I subtract it from n, right? So here are my numbers. Now I know what the total value has to be. One dollar. Nickels are one cent. Nickels are five. I mean, sorry, five cents, and pennies are one cent. So let's do the value. This would be 
5n, and this would be 1 times 46 minus n, right? Is it possible to do this with 46 coins? Let's see. Can I get 5n plus 46 minus n to equal $1, 100 pennies? Let's see. 5n minus n, I get 46 plus 4n equals 100. Subtract 46 from both sides. I get 4n equals what? 100 minus 46 is 54, right? n equals how many 4s go into 54? This is looking good right now. 1 goes into 5, right? 4 goes into 14. What? This is, no, there's no way. I can't. There's no way. Right? I can't have 13 and 1 half nickels. Uh, can't do it. No way, no matter how you try. Not with just 46 exact coins. Exactly. Woohoo! And we'll just do one more. Last problem. Let's do it. Usher. You know he carries around nickels. Usher has seven more nickels and than Brittany has dimes. If Brittany gives Usher four of her dimes, then Usher will have the same amount of money as Brittany. How much do they have altogether? What? Oh, my goodness. Well, okay, I don't know. Let's see. Usher has seven more nickels than, Brit than Brittany has dimes. So I have Usher. I have Brittany. I've got nickels. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm just making a chart. I've got dimes. Right? Let's see what's going on here. Well, it says Usher has seven more nickels. Then Brittany has dimes. I'm going to say Brittany has X dimes. Usher has X plus seven nickels. All right? Okay. If Brittany gives Usher four of her dimes, then Usher will have the same amount of money. So all they have is Usher doesn't have any dimes yet, and Brittany doesn't have any nickels yet, right? So, um, but they're saying here, if Brittany gives Usher four of her dimes, so they're going to start off here, right? And if, if let's, let's, let's talk about value here, all right? What's the value? Because at the end it's saying that they will have the same amount of money at the end, right? So when we start off, her value is X times 10 right now. And his value is X plus 7 times 5, right? That's how much money he has times 5 cents. These are each times 10 cents. But what they're saying is, after, this is after the exchange, they change. After the exchange, I'm going to call it exchange. Oh, she's going to give, look at this, what's she doing? She's going, to, she's going to give him four of her dimes. Oh, how nice of her. So now he's going to have that X plus seven times five. She's also going to add to it four dimes, right? She's going to have her original X times ten, right? But now she's losing 4, so she's going to end up having x minus 4 times 10. Oh, my God. Right? So he has this much. Now, see what this is. This is what he originally had, plus 4 dimes. This is what she... Now she doesn't have x dimes. She has x minus 4. I could have said she originally had 10x. I'm going to say minus 40. Right? She lost 40 cents. But they're equal now. And they just say, how much money do they have together? Well, all we have to do is just solve for x and go through the steps. So that's what I'm going to do. Solve for x. I get 5x plus 35 plus 40 equals 35 and 40 is 75. I get 5x plus 75. Look at it. I'm working on top and on the bottom. Equals 10x minus 40. Woo-hoo! I'm going to subtract some stuff. I'm going to add some stuff. Subtract 5x from both sides. and up with 5x on this side. I'm going to add 40 to both sides. I get 115. So x equals however many five going to one fifteen. I know twenty going to a hundred and three more. X equals twenty three. So x is twenty three. So twenty three dimes she originally had. So that's two dollars and thirty cents. And twenty three and seven is thirty nickels. Thirty nickels at five cents a piece is a dollar fifty. And together they did all this trading. They only had three dollars and eighty cents.